I'm going to show you how to complete a stem and leaf diagram. In this question, it says the number of passengers on a bus is recorded each day for 14 days. And here are the numbers that are recorded. So all they mean is that on one day, there were 15 passengers on the bus. On a different day, there were 18 passengers on the bus and so on. Down below, we have what we call a stem and leaf diagram. Okay, so this is where we're going to write all the numbers given above. It's a really useful way of organising the data so that it's easier to find, for example, the median or the mode later on. At the bottom, it says key 1-5 represents 15 passengers. So this key just means if you see a 1 followed by a line and 5, it represents the number 15. If you were to see 2 with a line and then an 8, it would mean 28 passengers, for example. And if you saw 3 followed by a line and then the number 9, it would mean 39 passengers. Okay, so that's what the key means in this question. When you write down the numbers in your stem and leaf diagram, make sure you write them in order, okay? Starting with the smallest and going to the largest. So let's look at these numbers given here. The smallest number in the list is the number 15, okay? So it starts with the number one, so it has to go in the top row because here is the number one. Okay, so I need to write down the number five here because one line five or one dash five means 15 passengers, okay? It's a good idea to cross off the numbers or underline them as you go through the list so you don't miss any out, okay? The next highest number is here, 17. So this also starts with the number one, so it needs to go in the top row again. So I write down number seven like so. Notice how I didn't write down the number one again. The number one, is already accounted for here, it's written down at the beginning, I don't need to write it down again. The next highest number is 18, so next I write down the number 8, and then we have the number 19, and be careful because there are two number 19s, so I have to write down the number 9 twice. Okay, so that's all the numbers from above that begin with the number 1. Okay, so now we can start with all the numbers starting with a 2, all the numbers in their 20s. So the smallest number in the 20s is this one, 22. So I'm going to write down the number 2 to begin with. So here I've got 2-2, which means 22 passengers. Next we have 24. And there are two 24s, so I need to make sure I write down the number 4 twice. The next highest number is 25, so I need to write down a 5. And then we have 29, so at the end of the row I write a 9. Okay, so that's all the numbers starting with a 2. Last, we have um, all the numbers in the 30s, all the numbers starting with a 3. Okay, so they're going to go in the last row. The smallest number in the 30s is this one, so 31. So I'm going, I'm going to start by writing down the number 1 there, followed by 35, so here goes the 5, 36, here goes the 6, and the highest number, 38, so at the end goes the 8. A good little thing just to do at the end is to check that you haven't missed any numbers out. Remember at the beginning of the question it said the numbers were recorded for 14 days. So we know there are 14 numbers here, so just do a quick count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so I know I've done it correctly.